I think that here was there was just the walls and nothing else. No roof, no windows, oh. no stairs. So everything also inside was destroyed. So they had to rebuild it up as a winery because it wasn't there weren't any cellars or anything else here. So they had to install them for the first time. And also they had to replace all the vineyards around the around the house because they were everything was wasted and to be replaced because no one was taking care of the house and the vineyards too for 15 years at least. So everything was really messy and, and wasted. So now it's 18 years that they are working every day. They are getting to relax themselves a little bit more now. And we have two apartments for our guests. Moving with the flowers is for two people. And then we have another one for five. And when they bought the property, they were told that the house belonged to the soldiers of Florence of the 13th century, so 1200. And this was one of the, the many towers of control that we had in, in between the city of Siena and the city of Florence. Because you know that here we are actually in the middle of the city. But we are really close to the middle century was the climax of the fighting between now we are still fighting but between us but more specifically we, we don't use bomb or anything else <laughs> so the name of the house it's Casa Loste thanks to the soldiers because Casa you know it's house and Oste hostilities wars so house against wars because of the soldiers so they love the story and they decided to to save it for the house and for the wine stew Okay, now we can go. See and as you can see, all our vineyards are located in circle around the house. It's very usual for Tuscan estates to have the house right at the top of the hill in the middle and all around the vineyards. Because I think also in previous centuries it was better to have everything closer to you to control it. Because you know, the, without tractors, without cars, it was better mm -hmm. to have everything close to you. So you could control it from rubbers and also from animals. You know, here we are full of wild boars, deers that eat, they eat everything, and also the wild boars crush the. How do you say that? They pass in this way, so they waste Crushed everything. The how and do they keep they, them out? You can't kill them, even if they are so good with pappardelle, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> but obviously, you can't kill them, and you can just ask for money from the state to rebuild and replace. So in, it's the only way that you, you have to make them fragment. So you can just fragment there. I don't know how to say it with that. So you can go eat there and say, go away. And this is, you can go there and cook it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know the bird. <laughs> so you know that we have to harvest grapes in October. Actually, this year would be late. In mm -hmm. October because we are so late with the season now everything is blooming and now the, we are you can see that everything is flowering now so last year like this situation we had in March so oh, we are wow. two months because wow. it was colder yeah it was, it was rainy and cold and we had five times snow this year and it's oh, so wow. unusual hmm. so all over the world it's it's been so cold one of the most cold winter yeah. in forever yeah so when we have to harvest we have to put all along the fields the boxes that we have to fill till the, till the top of the graves and there is a tractor that is parked here and takes all the boxes that we have to to make arrive since the fermentation